Going back to school this year can feel strange, yet exciting. Whether you're heading to a physical campus, taking classes online, or a mix of both, a laptop is likely to be the control center of your studies. And things have changed quite a bit over the last year. Apple introduced M1-powered MacBooks and Microsoft just unveiled Windows 11. With ARM-based systems hearkening a future where the line between mobile and desktop computing is blurry and Windows 11 working to bridge that gap by supporting Android apps, the laptop market is the most exciting it's been in years. That might lead to more questions for shoppers. Like, what are you supposed to look out for in an ARM-based PC? Will they run Windows 11? And what are some key specs you have to add to your must-have list this year? Here's our guide to help you make the right choice alongside a list of our favorite laptops. First, Windows on ARM still isn't worth it. Snapdragon laptops may look and feel classy, offer excellent battery life and cellular connectivity, but they're still too expensive, especially considering their limited app compatibility and finicky software. Apple's M1-powered MacBooks, on the other hand, are great for almost everyone. Over on the Intel side of things, most notebooks released this year pack 11th generation core processors. You could save some money by going for a 10th generation chip and it should still serve you well. Don't forget about AMD's Ryzen either. They're plenty powerful and no longer just for the bargain bin. If you're eagerly awaiting the arrival of Windows 11 devices, don't expect to see them before the semester begins. They're more likely to show up in the fall, around when Microsoft's hardware event usually happens. Across the industry, companies have shifted to taller aspect ratios. The Surface laptops run 3x2, while many Dell and HP options come at 16x10. While the older 16x9 format is good for watching videos, you'll probably appreciate the taller option when you're, say, writing an essay. Some devices come with OLED panels, which will be nice for working with photos and videos. But they usually cost more and take a toll on battery life, so you'll need to weigh your priorities. Fortunately, there's a diverse selection of laptops around, so you should be able to find one that's suitable for your preferences. Here's our favorite notebooks for your return to school. With its swift performance, slim fanless design, and excellent battery life, the Apple MacBook Air M1 should be a no-brainer for any Apple user. You'll appreciate familiar features like the Retina display, solid keyboard, and trackpad. The big news, though, is the ARM-based M1 allows the laptop to run iPhone and iPad apps, too. Not every app will be available on macOS, but the potential is great. Now you just have to make sure you can keep the distractions at bay, which should be easy with focus modes on the upcoming macOS Monterey. Unfortunately, if you need more internal storage or run a bespoke video streaming setup, the M1 MacBooks only go up to 16 gigs of RAM. The MacBook Pro M1 also lacks support for multiple monitors and an external GPU. If you need those, it's better to consider an Intel-powered MacBook or a Windows system. Dell's XPS series has been our favorite for years. Despite a somewhat plain design that some might call classic, the XPS 13 still stands out for nailing pretty much everything a laptop should have. Throw in a long-lasting battery and a pair of Thunderbolt 4 ports in the latest versions, and you've got a powerful workhorse for all your classes and more. The company shifted to a 16 by 10 aspect ratio in 2020 and recently added a 4K OLED option. Yay! The OLED configuration will cost you $300 more than the Full HD LCD option, but those who want the best viewing experience may not mind paying extra. Also, we recommend that you spend a little bit more and get at least 8 gigs of RAM instead of the meager 4 gigs that the base model offers.
If you're looking for an excellent typing experience, look no further than the Surface Laptop 4. Now, the buttons may not be as deep and springy as on ThinkPads, but they're deliciously responsive and have ample travel. Of course, it's important that the Surface Laptop 4 deliver on everything else. The 15-inch version that we tested offered breezy performance, respectable battery life, and a lovely 3x2 screen which supports Microsoft's Surface Pen input. The Surface Laptop 4 also has a clean design and a sturdy aluminum case that can withstand being stuffed in your backpack. The best thing about the Surface Laptop 4 is that its base model, which comes equipped with AMD's Ryzen 5 processor and 8 gigs of RAM, starts at $1,000. That rivals the Dell XPS 13, making it a better buy. You get more power, more screen, and more RAM for the money. For those whose priority is lightweight, the Galaxy Book Pro series should be at the top of your list. At just 2.36 pounds for the clamshell and 3.06 pounds for the convertible model, the 15-inch Galaxy Book Pro is one of the lightest 15-inch laptops around. It's also super thin, yet still manages to house three USB-C ports, one of them supporting Thunderbolt 4, a micro SD card reader, and a headphone jack. It also packs an Intel Core i5 or i7 processor and at least 8 gigs of RAM, along with similar battery life to the XPS and Surface laptops. That's particularly impressive given the Galaxy Book Pro has a gorgeous Super AMOLED screen. Unfortunately, it's still stuck on a 16x9 aspect ratio, but that's not a deal breaker. The Galaxy Book Pro's keyboard isn't as comfortable as the Surface Laptop 4's, but it's pleasant enough and the trackpad is enormous. We're more concerned about the odd webcam software that makes you look dark and splotchy. So if looking your best on video calls is of concern, you might want to consider something else. Awful camera aside, there's plenty to love about the Galaxy Book Pro, especially for those looking to lighten their loads. If you're considering saving a few hundred bucks by opting for Chrome OS, the Acer Chromebook Spin 713 might be the right choice. Sure, there are cheaper Chromebooks out there, but it's one of few machines with a 3x2 aspect ratio and has a utilitarian design that makes it perfect for butterfingers. That price also gets you an 11th generation Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, and a sturdy 360 degree hinge so you can set it up in a variety of modes. The 13.5 inch screen is also more pixel dense than most 1080p displays of the same size. There are sleeker, more powerful Chromebooks out there, but the Spin 713 offers a good mix of performance and a modern screen for the price. If cost is your utmost concern, then we recommend the Acer Aspire 5. It's a 15-inch Windows laptop with an AMD Ryzen 3 3200U processor with 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, and it costs between $400 and $450. Yes, that's less memory than anything else on this list, but it also costs much less than any of our non-Chromebook suggestions. There's plenty of ports here, including an Ethernet socket, and the aluminum chassis should make this laptop feel more expensive than it is. You'll also appreciate its reliable performance, comfortable keyboard, and 1080p display. For the price, the Aspire 5 offers everything you need to get through the school day, making it a great bargain. For all of our in-depth reviews on these laptops, more laptops, smartphones, wearables, and more in the world of consumer technology, make sure you subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.